Everything you thought you knew about feminism is wrong. For the past half decade, extremely far left woke scolds have overshadowed and distracted from legitimate egalitarian and good faith feminism that actually seeks to promote equality derived from liberal philosophy. Feminism is defined as one thing and one thing only, and according to Ritzer and Ryan, that's the system of ideas and political practices based on the principle that women are human beings equal to men. That's it. But because of the highly reactionary anti SJW movement of 2016, that stemmed from center-right and center-left YouTubers attaching a blanket and uncompromising mass hasty generalization fallacy to anyone and everyone who identified as a feminist and conflating quite literally anyone that advocated for equal rights during that era as a crazy, dyed-haired, man-hating, authoritarian campus lunatic when that couldn't be further from the case. If you support the equal treatment of women to all other genders socially and legally, you are a feminist. Plain and simple, a common anti-SJW counter-argument to this would be that the third wave as a whole, and by extension the movement, was a bad faith man-hating totalitarian idea that restricted the free speech and casual expression of people who either weren't familiar with feminist ideology or someone minding their own business in general. Which is ironic because this proved to be erroneous and eventually self-defeating for people who moved more left afterwards because people who tried to argue for expressly feminist ideas got dogpiled with visceral and bad faith arguments from people who had already fallen down the anti-SJW alt-right pipeline. The anti-SJW movement originally started as something to oppose stupid ideas in leftist spaces, but through too much overgeneralization and capitulation to the right, we manifestly moved back light years in progress for women's rights. If you legitimately think there aren't huge institutional adversities that women have to overcome, and or that women are socioeconomically equal to men or roughly similar to them in that regard, think again. I could bring up a number of ways in which women are disenfranchised perpetually and the far right would still continue to make excuses and blindly disregard the fact that the majority of the feminist movement is full of legitimately good people and equal treatment of all people is the objectively better societal resolve. The genesis of this movement was primarily the result of the work of TJ Kirk, better known as the Amazing Atheist, and a few other YouTubers which in its infancy was a legitimately virtuous attempt to stop bad and detestable leftist ideas from bleeding into the mainstream. Now don't get me wrong, as I speak, I fucking love TJ, and I'd say the ideas and format of my content heavily draws from his videos, especially those made earlier last decade, but it was patently a mistake for him and those YouTubers to not distance themselves from the center right in terms of their positions on these issues, because if they had been slightly more meticulous about the line between actual feminism and man-hating pronoun police with their hair dyed with an entire Sherwin-Williams store of color, advocacy against anything having to do with something that capitulated to men, the left wouldn't have obstructed itself so badly. One motif of the skeptic movement was the obsession with a certain term, cultural Marxism. What the fuck does that even mean? It's an esoteric term to denote a far-right anti-Semitic conspiracy theory positing that Marxism was the basis of of academic and intellectual effort to subvert Western culture, propagated mostly by neo-Nazis, which isn't surprising because this movement has its roots in the 90s and derives heavily from cultural Bolshevism, which was used by state-sponsored critics in Nazi Germany to denounce anything progressive, first cropping up in the 1920s when the Nazi party was fledgling. Remember Kekistan? That whole 4chan meme Sargon of Akkad conceived and something anti-SJWs branded themselves with? Something constantly defended by talking points like, it's a meme and freedom of speech, and nobody who flies this flag is a Nazi. Then it showed up at the Capitol riots, resulting in literally everyone previously involved with it trying to distance themselves from it. With this in mind, is anyone really surprised the skeptics devolved into Kekistan, then to the alt-right lunatics we see today with their slightly left adjacents being very cordial to them? At this point, we know a lot of the opposition to modern feminism stems from something simple, Sexism. Not wanting women to gain more rights in an effort to preserve hierarchy based off of intrinsic characteristics. The right's best weapon against societal progress for gender equality is inciting insouciance, complacency, and at worst for them, ambivalence of the culture in the effort to achieve societal equality. It's clear that they want autonomy over every aspect of the lives of women, even in the 21st century, so why on earth would indifference in any capacity ever be the solution? From the wage gap to harassment in nearly every facet to existence of toxic femininity, it's undeniable.
undeniable women face discrimination as a demographic. There's been a baffling and almost cringeworthy lack of feminist advocacy by the left, and with any societally marginalized group, it's something that needs to change as fast as possible. If you advocate for total gender equality, you are a feminist. And just because you identify as one doesn't mean you're capitulating to the toxic wing of the modern feminist movement. If you're even contemplating not joining us in the movement for egalitarianism, are you even with us? It's time to retake the idea of the feminist movement. Please stand with us in securing equal treatment of genders socially and under the law.